The first area one sees when entering the propyleum is the large foyer. This immense area has always been used as a space to greet guests arriving for an event and need to remove coats, deposit umbrellas, and make the transition from outside world into one's home. The open hall showcases massive doorways to each room on the first floor and is home to the grand staircase, which opens up to the second floor. Architecturally, this area foreshadows the brilliance of the rest of the mansion. The wainscoting throughout the foyer features contrasting dark wood and cream-colored upper walls. Built-in Tiffany lamps light the hallway, and large windows on both the first and second floors flood the area with natural light from the north. The original hardwood floors feature an outward-spreading rectangle design that is even more impressive when viewed from the second story. The most notable architectural element, however, is the grand staircase. One side of the staircase features intricate, hand-carved sections, while the wainscoting inlays continue on the other. Elaborate starting newels tie together both the inlay feature and carved sculptural elements at the base of the staircase. Originally, the nook wrapped around the corner underneath the staircase and served as a cozy space to gather. A swinging kitchen door was added in the mid-1920s when the tea room was opened, though the north wall section of the nook still remains today. The grand staircase is one of the most photographed elements of the propyleum. It is the perfect spot for wedding photos, a backdrop for cake cutting, and even a bouquet toss. Today, the foyer area continues to be a welcoming space for receiving guests connecting the first floor rooms and serving as a central hub of the propyleum. The space is popular for cocktail hours and overflow ceremony guests. The staircase remains the perfect backdrop for bride and groom first looks and iconic group photos.